I have not come on here to do a live in a long time, so I thought that there is no better time than now because this is something super important for literally anyone starting any journey or even on a journey right now because it's something I talk about a lot and we have this perception that we need to be perfect or this perception that everything needs to be 100% or when we start something or we start a program, like whatever program it is, we feel like everything needs to be ticked off. Everything needs to hit the mark. Like if it's not 100%, what's the point? Or if we can't actually get it right to what's actually on plan, what's the whole point doing it? Or eh, just skip it for now. And something that I say all of the time is I want you to fail and I want you to fail sooner, like sooner. Like <laughs> when you start a program, you have an initial burst of motivation, whatever it is, whatever you try to start doing, whatever you're doing right now, there is motivation at first and it comes in waves. That is when it's really important to fail and fail fast because you're going to be quicker to pick yourself up. And even if that's not there, like motivation is fleeting. There's no such thing as motivation because things come in picks and troughs and life happens. I mean, there, like, there is so many other things that some person would rather do than just go to the gym half of the time. But we get up to go there because we know what it does for us. And... Yes, while we want it to be something that's easy and something we enjoy, it's not something we're always going to enjoy. In fact, a lot of the time, it probably isn't because we go in with the idea, oh my goodness, I'm about to put myself through hell or something because you're pushing yourself. But it's not supposed to be something that takes up your life. And this is why you don't do like a shit ton of volume or just dumb shit where you're doing excessive cardio, excessive hit, excessive circuits, you want to get in, smash it out, and then leave. That is the whole point. Like, do you want to live in the gym? I assume not. Do you want your performance in the gym to dictate your mood inside and outside of the gym itself? I would say not. But you do want to know that you gave it your 100% effort. And your 100% effort looks different every single day. Being 100% consistent does not mean perfect. And if anything, when you are like, yeah, okay, cool. Here's a four-month program. I can assure you that you'll get amazing results given that your health is in check. If you nail it all out and you're 100% on it all. <clears throat> but we all know that that's not going to be reality. And if you slip up, it's not, oh, doesn't matter today. I'll start again next week or I'll start again tomorrow. Like, no, you didn't slip up and that wasn't a setback. That is part of progressing. I want you to fail. If anything, I want you to go on holidays when you're with me, for example. I want you to have events where you're out. I want you to have social occasions. I want you to have birthdays. I want you to have whatever it is that takes you away from this perfect plan because there is no such thing as perfect. Because what exactly is nailing everything and being 100% going to do for you? How is that going to teach you later on how to navigate these events? How is that going to build resilience in your mind? And how is that actually serving you with the focus in mind, oh, I have to be 100% all the time? It's obsessive and it's, it's unrealistic. You need to realize that there are going to be ups and downs. There is going to be missteps. There is going to be struggle. There's going to be moments where you may not know how to handle a certain situation. But it's how you pick yourself up. It's how you learn through that process to pivot. Because ideally, it's from getting you from where you are now, away from all the habits, away from the behaviors, to where you want to be. But you can't do that with the same mindset that you had coming into it. I mean, you can be your perfect and good follow, whatever it is. But 
Are you actually growing and learning in the process to navigate these events? Because life happens. You're, you're supposed to have social stuff happen in the same time. Like, you're not meant to give up your social life. You're not meant to say no to date night. You're not meant to give up family dinners because you have to stick to a plan. It's about working with that. And I think a lot of the time, something that holds us back from actually, from actually really going all in and betting on ourselves is that we think it's supposed to be hard and that we're supposed to be this perfect person that it's like this thought in our mind, I can't keep this up forever. This isn't realistic. So whatever it is, like I know that something I struggled with a lot is I, I, I'm kind of scared that I'm going to have to give up these foods forever or whatever the thought was in my head forever. But that's not the case. And this is why you don't diet 24 seven. Like you should not be in a perpetual fat loss phase. You get in, you get out. That's what maintenance is for. It's learning how to maintain your results. You're not going to get fat maintaining. That is where the results are built. That is where progress is made. You want to get in and you want to get out of fat loss phases. You want to spend the rest of the time building the body, building the mindset, building the habits that help you maintain it, and then go in, get the job done, come back out again. That is what it should be. Fail. Fail forward. Fail fast. Learn from it. Pivot. And just keep improving. It's this thing called life. Anyway, hope that helped. And yeah.